years. So if we continue to sin and we live constantly in sin, God constantly hates you. Also, uh, right? So uh, he has uh, some uh, so conduct in his hands. You said what? I saw some conduct earlier with his hands. All right, what you gonna what you gonna do with the rubbers, man? From the south, you talk is cheap like a Roman noodle. All you talk about is what about the white man? I think you like a Roman poodle. How you pro black with love some white girls? Don't you know what they did to us? They gave us hers, made you hate yourself, made you pro abortion, made you feminist. Nah, 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 boo boo. Don't let these people fool you. Called out their bamboozle. Don't you know that you Hebrew? Call me Asherala. You got, listen, I'm gonna tell you this, right? As, in the Bible, as a real man, right? And I know, and it's tough, right? As a man in this world, it's tough. But we can't be sleeping around, right? But if, if you if you sleeping with somebody, we gotta make it. We gotta have intentions of making it our wives, right? According to the Bible. Now this is one of this is a, this is one of the hardest things, huh? Right? I respect that shit, bro. Yeah, but listen, this is this is what this is what we talk about being a man, a man of the Most High, right? It's not easy to be a man in this world, right? To whom much, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So if you say you a God, you a king in the earth, to be a God and a king, a true king, you're going to have to be a disciplined man. You're going to have to learn this thing. Right? So you got to make sure you're living fully by this thing, man. Right? And you're going to make your mistakes, you're going to make your errors, but guess what? Scriptures say what? You got to stand back up. Right? You got to stand back up and continue following the Most High, man. Right? Read what you got. For the Most High head of sinners. Uh huh and we will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. What does that mean? There's a consequence for going against God. You know that, right? Read on. And keepeth them against the mighty day uh -huh. of their punishment. And he keep them against the mighty day of their punishment, right? So what we want to do, we want to show you the commandments of God. If we tell you to keep the commandments, you got to know what the commandments are, right? So let me get Leviticus 11 and verse 7, right? Do you know any of the commandments, Elder? Right? Let me show you some of the commandments of the Bible, right? Leviticus 11 and verse 7, right? This is, these, these things are very important. It's simple things, but these simple things could keep you out of a, 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 um, a life of hurt, man. That's right. Right? Read what you got. Leviticus 11 and verse 7. Come on. All right? The book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Read. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. The swine, the bacon, the pig, the pork, the grill, the ham, the salami. Read on. Though he divide the hoof. Though he divide the hoof. Read on. He cloweth footed. Keep reading. Yet he cheweth not the cud. Keep reading. He is unclean to you. What is that bacon? He is unclean to you. What is that grill? He is unclean to you. Now remember, this is a commandment of God. It says this bacon, this grill, this ham, the pig is unclean to you. Read on. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Of their body you cannot eat it. It don't matter how you cook it, man. You can't clean pig. Pig is born dirty. Right? Read on. And their carcass shall you not touch. That's a commandment of God. So if you say you love God, you got to keep the commandments. That is a commandment. The pig, the pork, the bacon, you cannot eat it. Right? You cannot eat it. Give me number shot to 38 verse 15. Exodus 22 verse 16. Exodus 22 verse 16. All right? Let's get that real quick. Salah. Right? So remember, if you love God, keep the commandments. These are the commandments we're going over right now, brother. Now you say you were Israel, you just gotta make that stuff, man. It's not gonna be easy, I'm telling you. It's not easy. Right? I know some people like to stall before they come in the truth and before they try to give their life up. But listen, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you something I know for a fact. If the most high wants you, you cannot run from this. Remember these words I told you tonight. If God wants you, you gonna know it. Most High going to chastise you very hard and you're not going to like it. Remember those words. Read what you got. The book of Esther in chapter 22 and verse 16. Right, read. And if a man entice a maid, uh -huh. that is not the truth. So we talk about the rubbish you got in the, in the hand, right? I know you're trying to, you know, slide somewhere, right? But let's see what it says again. Read it again. And if a man entice a maid, uh -huh. that is not the truth. Right. And lie with her. And he what he do what? And lie with her. That means he sleeps with her. Read on. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. You shall surely make that girl your wife. That's what the Bible said. Right? And this 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 makes uh this this look makes you look at life a lot different. Right? Because now you actually gotta be proactive and you gotta look at these women and look at them for what they for. Not just an object, not just a physical being, not just to get your pleasure off. Now you got to look at this woman like, 
Am I really ready to spend the rest of my life with this woman? Right? Now you start, have, you have to look at her qualities now. What she actually is bringing to the table. Can she be a good mother? Can she be a good wife? Can she be of happy and of, of helpful assistance to you? Right? This is what this do when you read the Bible. It makes you think deeper. You're not just thinking on the shallow end. You're going deep with it, man. Right? So you can't just be out here sleeping around as a young king, as a young god. Right? There's diseases out here. There's all type of wickedness going on. People got, they got husbands and whatnot. How many people have died from laying with the wrong woman, man? How many women have died from laying with the wrong man? So you have to be circumspect about these things. Right? Give me Numbers chapter 38, verse 15. Right? Last 15, year. What, I, what 15, is that? 38. What did I say? Oh, Salah, Salah, 1538. See, I'm rusty, y'all. I'm getting it back, though. Come on. 1538. <laughs> the book of Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Uh huh. Speak unto the children of Israel. So we out here, that's what we're doing. You say you know you are Israelite. You are a child of the Most High, a child of Israel. It says, speak unto you, right? Read on. And bid them that they make them fringes. Tell them that they make them what? Fringes. Fringes. If you look at all these brothers, they have the fringes in the bottom of their garments. Right? Read on. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generations. So you got to make fringes in the borders of your garments throughout all of your generations. This is what separates you from the world. Right? When you look at these, you know that, okay, this is an Israelite right here. He keep the commandments of God. God. Stand up straight, brother. Right? This is the commandments of God. Right? Read on. And that they put upon a fringe uh -huh. of the borders a ribbon of blue. You put on, on that fringe, you got to put the, the ribbon, the border of blue. Right, read on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Uh-huh. That you may look upon it. So you can look upon the, the fringes. Read on. And remember all the commandments of the most high. So every time we look at these fringes, it reminds us that we we have uh we are Israelites, that we have to keep the commandments, right? Give me um sorry, uh Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Right? Because this is what this is about, brother. I pray you heard us tonight. Right? We have a school right down the street. You should come through tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? All the brothers going to be there. You got, you got food. You got drinks. And I promise you, you're going to learn more than you have ever learned in your life about the Bible. In just one hour. Right? Talk to the brothers. You got a family right here in front of you. Scriptures say be continually with a godly man. If you hanging out with brothers that are not keeping the commandments, you're not going to keep the commandments either. I promise you that. You say you want to be better, you got to be around better, man. It's just that simple. Right? I, I understand that, but you gotta you gotta do it better, brother. Right? I'm I'm here to push I'm here to push you even more. All right, you say you know you know you're Israel. That's one step. I'm trying to make you take that extra step now. Now I want you I want to see you next time in the fringes. Right? I want to see you next time, hopefully with some boots, ready to be a soldier of the most high, man. Because this ain't no easy life, man. Right? Ready to be a soldier of God to defend the gospel of the Lord. That's what a real man does. That is, the, huh? that, that, that is the end right though. Right. Right, exactly, right? It's just it's, it's just gonna be on you to make that change. Right? Yeah. Right, so we don't wanna but we don't wanna see you die, brother. Listen to this scripture. Read what you got. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Right, read. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, brother. Read on. Fear God. Do what? Fear God. Fear God. Read on. And keep his commandments. That's what we are to do to tell you. Keep the commandments. Not just know you an Israelite, but be an Israelite, brother. That's right. Right? Keep the commandments. Read on. For this is the whole duty of men. For that is the whole duty of men. So, brother, listen, you got the flyer, you got the information, and the next step is on you. We have class tomorrow, man. Come through. Even if you come through for 10 minutes, right? Talk, chop it up with one of the brothers. Even if you could pass by in the beamer with the top down, say, I'm just here to chop it up with you, brother, real quick, right? And then you'll be about your business, right? Here to sow the seed. Let the seed grow within you. Ask the most high to increase your faith, man. Because that's what we are here to do, show you who you are, right? Jake is funny. So, with that being said, I'm going to say shalom to the house of Israel, brother. I pray we see you again. And I want to say, Kwame Yasharala.